welcome back to my channel so jumping straight into this video starting off on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair and now i'm going in with my rev air to blow dry it y'all know i absolutely love this thing and i put a little bit too much leave-in in my hair and it did not get as straight as it normally does it usually gets a little bit straighter than this um but yeah so i'm starting off by blow drying my hair and then i'm going to do two ponytails today so ponytails have always been my go-to especially one ponytail and two ponytails but i learned how to rope twist y'all and i cannot stop doing it i freaking love it so i'm starting off by just parting my hair into two sections going down the middle and this mirror is from amazon i have a link for it down below for you guys it comes in clutch okay especially with doing all types of parting and braids and things like that so i'm just starting off with one part going straight down the middle and then i'm going to go ahead and tie it together just so i can make sure it's straight it's a little crooked but that's the best that i could do and then I'm doing a side part today. So I'm going to take a piece of this section and part it back and just go ahead and add it to the ponytail that's already in the holder. And then I decided to make it more of like a curved C part. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just curving it uh, going up more towards my forehead. And now for the sleekness, I'm going in with my Lovely Bees Edge Control like always. I want to put this all over the front and then also in the back by the parting area so I can get this thing slick, okay? <laughs> Okay, so now that I have my ponytails in place, I'm going to go in with this easy braid pre-stretched hair. So I think this is 26 inches. I think this is the same braiding hair that I used when I did the twist for Coachella. And I'm just sectioning it into two. So I only used one pack. I used half on one side and then the other half on the other side. So I start off by making sure it's nice and even, like putting my hair in the middle because that's where the ponytail is going to be. And then I even that out with, um, or line that up, sorry, with my ponytail like this. Then you go ahead and take one side and move it out of the way and take your hair tie and just tie it onto your ponytail. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> So once you have the hair tight on, it should look something like this. And then you're going to take your real hair and you're going to put your real hair into two sections and then put half with one side of the braiding hair and the other half with the other side of the braiding hair. And then you're going to start your rope twist. So this is only my second time doing rope twists and the first time my twists were a little bit smaller so it was a little easier. This time it was kind of a lot of hair to like grip into my thumbs. I don't know if I have little thumbs or what but you take one side and you just start twisting. I like to twist inward about three to four times and then you cross over on top and then you do the same thing with the bottom piece. You twist inward um, three to four times and then cross on top, twist inward three to four times and then cross on top and then I just do that all the way down till I get to the bottom. And then when I get to the bottom to keep it from unraveling, I like to do a braid. So I just do like divide the whatever hair is left into three sections and do it like three to four times going down. And then I tie it with a small rubber band. Oh, it's 
And then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm holding my hand in the middle, making sure it's even going all the way down on both sides. And then you just add that to um, your real ponytail. And then this time I clipped it out of the way. So I clipped the fake hair that I wasn't using onto the ponytail that was already done, just so it'll make it a little bit easier when I'm adding the hair tie. <laughs> and once it's attached you just go ahead and split your real hair into two put in half with each side of the braiding hair and then you start twisting one side inward cross it on top and then just keep doing that all the way down Once my twists are in, I go in with a little more of my Lovely Bees Edge Control just to fix my edges and do my baby hairs a bit. And then I like to go in with a little bit of holding spray. This just helps me keep the style longer so that I don't have to keep re-slicking it every day. So I add a little bit of holding spray, I rub that in, and then you could tie it down for a little bit if you want. I was in a rush like always, so of course I didn't tie it down. But this is how it came out, you guys. It came out so freaking cute. And I kind of like doing the twists more than braids. Um, but yeah, I like doing it this way because then you don't have to take a piece of hair to wrap around the band because it literally just looks like the hair is coming out of the hair tie. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have everything that I used down below in the description box. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one.